don't give y'all shit. Okay. That's not a man. Let's start there. I am not a man. Y'all do not want me. I do not own a penis. Does not matter what I say. So don't put this on me. Let's get into it, gentlemen. Today we have Kendra G and she's going in on one of the old folk. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, let me see this here, girl. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, that's a wrap on your head. That's a wrap on what? You okay? <laughs> she said, you okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. Yes. What's the name? Am I saying your name right, honey? No, it's Lathia, but you can call me L.A. That makes it nice and easy. Okay, I call you L.A. All right, well, thank you for the nickname, Grace. I'm terrible with names. L.A., where you call me from, Mama? Uh, Staten Island, New York. Okay. How old are you? I just turned 48 on Friday. Okay, 48 on Friday. Yeah. That's a Virgo. A Virgo. You got a few Virgos Virgo tonight. Tonight is Virgo. I did. I, it is. You're right. I am getting a lot of Virgos. <laughs> um, maybe I maybe I get birthday people a lot. Um, what do you do for a living, honey? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a notary. I do other things, contract work. Entrepreneur. You have any children? One. 22-year-old son. How old? 22. 22. Have you ever been married? No. No. Okay. So, well, how do you pronounce your name? One more time. Lathia. Lathia. Lathia yeah. from Staten Island, New York. 48 Virgo. Entrepreneur. Mom to a 22-year-old son. <laughs> never married. How, what kind of man are you looking for, mama? Uh, an honest man. Um, a man who doesn't have a problem. Or a man who knows that he's the provider in the relationship. Um, and when I say provider, I mean everything. I mean, you know, financially, um, he's also the provider of, you know, my, my security. Um, meaning I, I should feel secure within the relationship. He should, um, he should be all about me. Um, I said honest. What else? I'm drawing a blank. I'm super nervous just to let you know. <laughs> okay. So provider, you mean like pay all the bills? I think that's what men should do. Well, there's men that do that. Yes, I know there are. Okay. So she wants a provider. So if a man came to you and said he wants to do 50-50, you wouldn't do that? I don't. I really, I frown on the 50-50 thing only because, like I said, I feel like men should be a provider. The men that have been um, like my examples in, in life where, where I was growing up, they, they took care of everything. Have you, you know? ever had a provider? Have I ever had a provider? I absolutely have. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So, and that just ended that relationship. Yeah. He was crazy in other ways, but yes, he provided. <laughs> what ways was he crazy in? We'll be here all night, boo. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. She wants the provider. We'll get to the money question later. What are your deal breakers? Um, <clears throat> a dishonest man, a man who is not disciplined, who can't keep his thing in his pants, um, a man who doesn't who doesn't know how to stand up for his woman. Um. So yeah, I think that's that's good you know, to start out with. Okay. So do you look a certain way? I mean, I prefer um, dark-skinned men. Um, I prefer taller men. But though that's my preference, my what's more important is how he treats me. Okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Well, I think you should make a certain amount of money. I live in New York, and so it's pretty expensive to live in New York. Um, I, I mean, I know you give people a hard time for the boss, six boss, figures. Boss. Okay, I, I want to correct this right here. I don't give y'all shit, okay? Yes, you not, do that. That's not a man. Let's start there. I am not a man. Y'all do not want me. I do not own a penis. So mm -hmm. it does not matter what I say. So don't put this on me, okay? What I repeat is what men say. 
And men usually are here saying it in the comments too. But this is not about Kendra. So don't don't come and be giving me the, the energy job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think six figures is like the, the minimum, to be honest with you. Oh boy. Um, what do I see about this one? What do I see about old hyena sister over here? She believes that the average gentleman makes six figures. It shows the level of delusion in these women's heads. Guys, stay on your game. Keep your mind focused on making yourself better at all times. And don't get caught up. This woman is a bad choice. It's a bad decision for a six-figure guy. And here she is telling you that you better come as an exceptional man for a below average woman. All of this delusion and shit. But don't worry. Let's get going some more. Kendra G, let's hear what you got to say about this one. Um, and I know you oftentimes ask the question, like, I, I haven't made six figures last year, but I've made six figures, right? And so if you don't make six figures yourself, but you want to make in this figures. moment, in this moment, no, I don't. But when I was at in corporate America doing my thing, yes, I was. Okay. So, but would you date a man that didn't make six figures? I mean, can somebody not really. say pump and doom? Pump and dump, pump and dump, pump and dump. Let's go. You guys will be pumping and dumping. You guys are winning all over. She will have a bag of expectations for the guy that she doesn't want. But Tyrone and Chad, he getting it in for free. Okay. So Not here. Okay. Because so let me even ask with you that then. amount of money, it's kind of like okay. it's hard to make things happen here in New York. Okay. Now, it doesn't seem, I, I know these are things that a lot of women want, and I understand the desire of it, but you did describe uh, a small percentage of men to a certain degree, and as in the amount of money that he wants to make, and then also the characteristic of, you know, you want a provider, you want him to pay for everything. Not saying that this would happen. I'm just asking for clarity. So if you don't meet a man that wants to, you know, do all those things, has the income, also believes how you believe as in being the provider, are you okay with not having no man? I mean, I'm okay with, I mean, I, to a certain extent, yes, okay. right? Because I don't want to settle. And if I settle, then I'm not going to be totally happy. What's your right? definition of setup? Not those things that I've already said that I want. Okay. Not getting the things that I say that I want. Okay. I'm assuming you know these men that fit all your characteristics. I mean, I, I know men who make six figures. I mean, like I said, I, I was in a position just some time ago where I was doing that on a regular basis. Right. And because I switched over to the entrepreneurial lane, I, I'm not there just yet, but I'm, I'm know I'll be there again. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about that. I guess right now, the reason I asked if you know these men, what's wrong with the men that you know? Cause I'm, I'm very picky and I'll say that I'm very, very picky. Um, so I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those men. I, I just left a, a relationship with a guy made six figures. Okay. okay. Um, but again, why'd you leave the relationship? Cause that relationship was over six months into it. We just, we, we made it, we, we, we held on for another two years, two and a half. Why was it over six months in? Why because he, I found out that he was married on paper. This is why you always allow the women to speak because they will tell you everything you need to know. Now, after six months, she says she knew her relationship with this gentleman was over. And yet he been smashing for two years. And yet she thinks she is different from every other woman you have ever met. My sister, you are just like the others. Ain't nothing special about you. 
Ain't nothing special about your looks. Ain't nothing special about your behavior. All the talk you talk, you just show how much of the same you are. But go ahead. We ain't stopping you. Say what needs to be said. Make us proud now. Married for papers. Um, when I asked, married, wait, I'm married, 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 married to someone else, but he said that he did it for papers, for their papers. Okay. For them to get papers for a green card. There you go. You fell for the easiest and most used trick in the book. Don't worry. I'm going to leave her for you. You don't need to be afraid. I don't even like her. You're the one I'm going to marry. You're the one I want. There you go, my sister. That says everything that needs to be said. How many women have fallen for this same trick? Chad. Doing it well. There you go, my boy. That's how you do it. These beta women out here doing all this shit. All this talking. And they fell for the number one trick. The most used trick. The easiest trick in the book. And yet, you special. Woman, get that bump off your head and go to bed. Okay. Um, but we had the discussion before we got together. He totally lied about it. Um, and I tried to come back from that, but it was really hard for me to do that. And then... So um, was, he, was he pursuing a divorce or he was staying married? Well, he was staying married at the time. He promised me that he would get a divorce. But for the majority of that relationship, he didn't. Now, when we were ending the relationship, he said that he did finally get the divorce. But I don't... You know, I don't know if that's true. And what was his occupation? Because you said he made six figures. He works for. You don't uh, gotta say. You don't gotta say. You don't gotta say what he works for. You can just say what he like the title. Yeah, well, I don't even know if people would know what that is. Is is what he did for a living? What he did in his in that company because it's like a procure. A pro, it was a procurement agent. I think is the name of the title. Procurement. Okay. Something like All that. All right, so fair enough. So that's over because he was literally married to somebody else. He was else. literally married. Supposedly he was not married anymore by the time we separated, but there were other issues. He had children. We had issues with the children. It, it just, you know, it was issue after issue. And then to be totally transparent and honest, he had a problem with me not, you know, wanting to work a regular job and bringing in regular income and all that stuff. Oh, he wanted you to work too? Mm-hmm. Oh, but you don't want to. Oh, sorry. You're an entrepreneur. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's do the Kendra Cam, Mama. Okay. Ugh. We got to see your legs, boo. I, I see, Kendra. I see. Looks like you're in good shape. Okay. I see them jeans, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so LA, you said I could call her LA because I don't mention also name. Do you yeah. want a guy to be in Staten Island? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. You're 48. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I'll go down to 45 to about 55. Okay. Um, you have paid questions. Do you want them? I'll answer. take the first one, and if I don't feel like answering, I won't answer. It. Okay, okay. Coffee Killer said, "So the man you want won't. So the man you want won't think he's settling for you. What sets you apart from the many other women wanting this popular man? What well, makes your is everybody's different, right? So just because you know, there's another woman, another 48 year old woman who looks fairly decent for her age and this and that. I, I know, I know the woman that I am and you know, what I bring to a situation. I hate that phrase, like, what do you bring to the table? Cause that's crap to me. You understand what I'm saying? Um, everyone is different. I'm a very loving person. I'm a very supportive person. Um, I, you know, whatever. What sets me apart is me being me, really. Okay, okay. 
Do you want any more of the questions? I'll, if, if I don't care to answer, I won't, but you can give it to me. Okay. L double I said, Miss Kendra, she's 50 50 at bare minimum responsibility though, but she doesn't want to accept that. I'm 50. What does that mean? He's saying that you, he's saying that you would have to go 50 50 with your guy to get Why? the type of guy. And how, does, how does he make that assumption? L double I, how did you come to that conclusion that she's 50 50? If you want to elaborate, 50 50 at best, what does that mean? What he's saying is what his translations, whether you agree with it or not, what he's saying is that you would have to go, I guess he's putting you in the category of a woman that has to go 50 50 with her man. No, but again, what makes what makes him come to that conclusion? L double I, what makes you come to that conclusion? Okay. All right. Um, if you want to explain, Jag Meddy said, what is that man going to get that he probably can get from someone that's younger? See, this is a, that's the type of mentality I don't really entertain, you know. Um, if you want a woman that's younger, that's fine, you know. Um, I'm someone who's completely different than anyone that you've met. I'm a completely different person. So your experience with me is going to be different than your experience with a younger woman, an older woman, a smarter woman, a less attractive woman, what have, whatever the case may be. I got you. Okay. After this one, I'm going back to my questions. Eclipse said, I love her energy. She's silly and funny. I am. And thank you, Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take a pause. Let me go back to my questions. Okay. So when was your last relationship, LA? Um, it just ended last month it just ended last month but like i said it was pretty much over a long time ago okay well he was married the whole time correct as far as i know like i said when uh, one of our last conversations he said that he got the divorce but i don't i don't know if i could believe that you know it doesn't really matter at this point and it didn't matter at that point when we were having the conversation <laughs> Um, when you don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Some months back. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I am an overthinker. I am a Virgo. I'm a typical Virgo in that sense. I am an overthinker. I, um, I am extremely opinionated. You may have figured that out already. Um, I'm, a, I'm extremely opini opinionated. I don't feel like that's a flaw, but I know that people kind of see that as a flaw um and i'm very outspoken you know i don't i don't t typically bite my tongue um and i wrote down my flaws so i wouldn't forget oh yeah following through with ideas that i have because i'm someone who has ideas all of the time about different things usually business um having to do with business and then i i don't necessarily always bring them to fruition Fair enough. All right, LA, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, boo? Well, um, <laughs> are you I, excited for this one? <laughs> I think I have a really good personality. Um, I'm ready to, to be with someone who is serious about having a relationship. Um, I'm ready to settle down not settle but settle down and um you know I'm, I'm down for whatever you know but not what for whatever with the bullshit i'm down for all the good shit. <laughs> i'm down for all the good shit. down for all the good shit. okay you are 48 what's the age range you want to date um i said i would go to 45 to about 55. Okay. I would even do 58 because if, if somebody is like 60 and keeping himself together, I'm okay with that. Okay. And you want him in Staten Island? I can't remember. No. No. I okay. actually don't want Staten Island. Okay. You have more paid questions, but it's, it's completely up to you. Go ahead. I don't mind. You don't mind. Okay. Um, earlier you asked L double I, why did he say you are 50? Okay. 50? He's responding back. Okay. He did. He said, because of how you look. Oh, so I'm, I'm mediocre in his mind. Well, I don't, I don't consider myself to be mediocre. That's his opinion. Um, so yeah, even though he says that I'm 50-50 at best, I know that there's someone out there who feels like I deserve 100%. 
okay. of everything. Okay. Ooh, don't don't get it. Don't start it with her. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Maddie says six figure men want their women fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Okay. Did he did he notice something different? Okay. Okay. Well, I think right there. Okay, we'll end the paid questions at that moment. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I am. Okay. Are you under this name right here? So I think I'm under LA Knight, and then recently I updated A my username. Picture. Yeah, I think it's the Goddess Knight. Is it LA Knight one word? And how do you spell Knight? K N I G H T. Okay. Is it one word or two no words? I believe it's L dot A dot night. So L dot space A dot space night or is under the goddess night, which is all one word. The well, you have to know these answers because this is your moment to tell it to the world. And y'all got the goddess night. So try the goddess night. Yeah, because either one should pull up, pull me up. So the goddess night. Here we go. Here she is. The goddess night is her username. The goddess night. That's why you can find her right away. The Goddess Knight. Okay, boo, you have a pretty smile. Oh, Wait. you like our head wraps your thing? The head wraps are kind of my thing. Okay. Hats and head wraps. <laughs> you said what? Hats in the winter time, head wraps in the summertime. Okay, okay. All right, this is her, fellas. 47 entrepreneur. Um, some things about her. Waiting for my king to find me. He's serious about finding love. He won't play about me. I have my preferences when it comes to looks. Um, but what I want most important to me is how he treats me. What I'm looking for, a man who was led by the spiritual compass, he knows what he is. He knows that he's a provider. He's a provider of the safety and security of my body, heart, and mind. He's caring and loving, a man who isn't flippant with his feelings. Deal breakers, poor hygiene, no cigarette or weed smokers, no underlining uh, misogynist issues, men who aren't gentlemen. All right, fellas, if you want to, here we go. The <laughs> Goddess Night, LA Night, the Goddess Night on the Kendra G Singles dating app. That is her first picture. Okay, Dimples. Well, thank you. That used to be my nickname back in the day, Kendra. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you got Dimples. <laughs> and I understand that I'm not for everybody, but I am i don't need everybody. I just need one man who knows what- One man. 